Number 69. Determine whether aqueous solutions of the following salts are acidic, basic, or neutral. And then we have this compound right here. So we have KHCO2. Is this acidic, basic, or neutral? Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take these salts, which another word for a salt is just ionic. It's an ionic compound, the ones that we have loved and, you know, worked with ever since the beginning of chemistry. We're going to basically break this up into its two ions. Remember, any ionic compound has two ions, one that's positive and one that is negative. So we have to know where the break is. And in terms of KHCO2, the break is right between potassium and hydrogen uh, carb, I think it's hydrogen carbonate, right? Actually, this isn't carbonate because it's not CO3. This is formate HCO2. Okay, so let's just break it off. We have potassium, which would be a plus one. It's in group one. And the formate ion, HCO2, has a negative one charge. We don't really care about the charges here because what we're going to do is for these that you have, we're going to add on a water because we're an aqueous solution, right? So we have water. And remember, water is structured between one hydronium and one hydroxide. Remember, the hydronium is the positive and the hydroxide is the negative. So opposites attract. The plus that you have is always going to go with the OH. So in this case, I'm going to form KOH. And then for this one, the formate is going to tackle on one more hydrogen. So I could say H. CO2, but instead I just have two hydrogens. So it'd be H2CO2. Okay, now we use a little trick. We got to know our strong acids and strong bases. So let's run with KOH first. I say to myself, is KOH a strong acid or a strong base? Well, it's a strong base. It's right here. Potassium hydroxide, one of my six strong bases. And just know that any time that you have a strong base, the conjugate ion is so, so, so weak that it's classified as neutral. It's just easier to classify it as neutral than really, 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 you know, basic. Uh, really, really, really weakly basic. So KOH would be a strong base, which means that what I have, the conjugate, is so weak that it's classified as neutral. And because of that, I kind of like cross this off. I say, okay, that's neutral. Doesn't have any acidic or basic property. Now we do the same thing here. H2CO2. Is that one of my strong acids? And I scan the list. I don't see it. So it wouldn't be classified as a strong acid. All other acids would be considered as weak. So this would be a weak acid. And now we're down over here. And just remember, the weak acids will form weakly basic conjugates, but the actual base wording has to be there. So weakly acidic, what you started with was weakly basic, but I'm just going to put basic here because base is a base. And now all you got to do is just add up what you got. Neutral plus basic would basically be basic. So this salt is basic and that's it. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And I hope you're having a great day. I think there's one more in this number. So hang tight and we will do it very quickly. Okay, bye-bye.